Well, Leaders First Responders and law enforcement personnel across Charleston County are busily preparing for the impacts of Hurricane Ian. News 2's Jordan Siopa is at a location in North Charleston right now where sandbags are being distributed to people, Jordan. Yeah, that sandbag distribution behind me just wrapped up at six. It was one of several throughout the area. Now today I spoke with local first responders and law enforcement agencies who all tell me that they're going to be increasing their presence ahead of the storm. First responders throughout Charleston County are doing everything they can to stay ready for emergencies. We increase uh, our personnel and increase our resources that we place throughout the county. High water vehicles are on standby in case Charleston County Emergency Medical Services have trouble accessing hospitals in the flood prone medical district. We would uh, you know, be able to call those in and uh, transfer those patients to those vehicles to get them to the uh, appropriate hospital. In North Charleston, police are busy handing out sandbags to people at multiple locations. City leaders say crews were preparing for flooding by cleaning out drains. We know our normal flooding areas, so that's why we have additional police out and public works out. North Charleston's emergency preparedness coordinator Delmar Johnson says they are running under OPCON 3, which is normal daily operations. However, he anticipates they will shift to OPCON 2 within the next day. OPCON 2 is a little bit more heightened uh, where more of our city resources are being deployed, like um, our police are being put on notice and um, we're changing their schedules. Charleston police are ramping up their staffing starting Thursday morning. Officers say they're hoping to make early road closures in commonly flooded areas. The biggest thing is don't go around any barricades, don't drive into any water. That helps us keep our resources in the appropriate locations uh, and allows us to uh, better help those in, that with the emergent need. Officials in both North Charleston and Charleston are encouraging you out there to follow their uh, city social media pages for the latest updates. Reporting live in North Charleston, Jordan Siopa, Count on Two.